Hello once again audience, this is the team single track week four Pizza Kuta presentation and it is about the performing stage. Got an intro of darkness and redness and whiteness like usual and a picture of a single track. Got beautiful lush white birch forest and what is the performing stage from what you might be asking? Well that's when a team hits its pinnacle. Everybody is trusting each other Everybody's always motivated to get the job done with each other. You see, you see up there about a team high-fiving. And that's one of the things I'm going to talk about is motivation. Motivation helps the team push themselves that extra mile. As you can see here with that gold man running best with all the silver guys. He's going that extra mile. He wants to push it that much farther and challenge himself. The team in the performing stage does the same. It challenges itself to get the job done. When you get the job done, well, there you go. You got to get a check mark, <laughs> a green check mark. So a team in the performing stage always gets the job done in a neat, orderly manner and on time because of their motivation to push themselves. They always challenge themselves, and the project will be better and better and better as the days go on. That makes everybody happy, including this little man. It makes the company happy to see a team that's in the performing stage Teams happy to be in the performing stage. I mean, everybody is happy to be in the performing stage. It's just a great thing to be up there, knowing that you, none of the walls are there for any team. Christopher Nelson here talking to you about the team performing stage. Now, as Troy mentioned before, the team is happy, they're motivated, and they're not so much worried about building new skills as much as maintaining preset skills, and I'm going to be talking about how the team can maintain trust in a supportive environment. First is, to maintain trust, the team needs to remain committed. They can't slack off now that everything's running smoothly. They need to be proactive at all times. And when a team member can't be proactive, they need to let the team, member, the team know that, hey, I'm busy this week, I can't be to my full performance. Next is to remain genuine. If you don't know something, let the team know. Don't assume that you know everything and make stuff up. And don't lie to the team to make yourself seem better than you actually are. Remain genuine and be open and accept help at all times. Next is supportive environment. The main thing about supportive environment is that you need to accept diversity. As the figures show, there's many different colors that teams bring, whether it's personality traits or environmental bring-ups, and diversity is just, you need to accept it. Also, as a team leader, you need to push the team to greatness. I know you've already reached the performing stage, the maximum stage, but there's still work to be done, and the team still needs a leader to be consistent and to push the tor team towards greatness at all times. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Leo with Team Single Track, and I'm here to discuss about Team First Attitude. First slide as you see, every member in a team should have a good attitude. Having a good attitude determines on how successful each person can be within the team. In my first slide and picture, I have a team happy right there. Next slide. When it comes to teamwork, motivation is not the only key. When a positive attitude is added into from each person, it helps to make sure that the high performance for the team, make sure it's basically producing high performance for the team. Next slide. Listening to your team members helps to maintain a positive attitude so that you don't find a fault in others and then make, uh, make, make up your own decisions basically. Next slide. Uh, if your team member comes to you to correct something that you've had, you basically done, uh, make sure you take it with a positive attitude. Uh, they're not there to put you down. They're there to try to help you. Um, the last thing you want is your is your team thinking that you have a negative attitude. Next slide. When a team develop a positive attitude, it helps it helps to avoid stress and mistake in the teamwork environment basically. Having a positive attitude and a team added into the motivation part will make it very successful as a team and will be capable of doing anything.
Hey, thanks, Leo. This is Nick from Team Single Track, and I'm going to be closing out our last Pecha Kucha for team building by talking about efficiency and effectiveness. Now, a well-oiled team is efficient in their deadlines, and they're also effective in delivering the product that is expected of them. Now, looking at both efficiency and effectiveness, they share one major thing in common, completing a certain task. Now, efficiency is more concerned with doing the task at a minimal cost and time, and effectiveness is more concerned with doing the right task and achieving that activity and goals. So you can, it's hard to have effectiveness without efficiency. Now, efficiency it, going on the task thing means doing things right. You know, doesn't everyone, everyone want to be efficient? Efficiency also focuses on the process, on one process. You know, that can be, you know, a little bit boring for some people because they like to think more of other things. And now, effectiveness is doing the right thing. You know, can we say that Spider-Man is effective because he usually does the right thing? And some people, you know, like, effectiveness also focuses on the end. Now, some people don't want to think about the end. They want to think about what's currently going on. Say, like a movie. You don't want that movie to end or a game to end. Now, on behalf of Troy, Christopher, and Leo, I want to thank you for uh, watching all of our Pichacusha presentations for this month. And I hope uh, you guys gained some good information about team building and, uh, you know, work on, you know, like being a better team. And we'll catch you next time.